I'm Olivia. My year, I am currently in. I've suspended my studies, but I'm kind of halfway through my second year at the University of Bristol, and I'm currently at home in California. I'm not a US citizen, I'm a UK citizen. But I moved here when I was four for my dad's job, but I've always wanted to go back to England. I love it here in California, but I had a dream of moving back to England for uni since I was like 12. <laughs> Uh, my YouTube is basically just me talking about university life and talking about what it's like to go to the University of Bristol and what it's like to be an American in England. Yeah, social policy and politics. However, it wasn't always that. I switched my course after about the second week. I was doing politics and philosophy, okay. but I realized philosophy was not really for me. So I found social policy and did that instead. <laughs> Well, I had never done philosophy before. Um, I think most of the people that were doing the course had done it at A-level, and so I didn't have any prior knowledge, as everyone else did, so I felt immediately behind on the first day, and it was also not as connected to politics as I thought it would be. It was a different side of philosophy than I was kind of expecting, so I needed to change course as soon as possible. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I think... I surprisingly like social policy more than the politics side of things, just because it's a lot more connected to the real world, whereas politics is a lot more theoretical and about sort of like the history and stuff. So I found it really interesting. But yeah, it's surprising that social policy has become my favorite part of it. There are no A-levels because everything, it's not like a national curriculum. There's no big national exams except for the SAT and the ACT, but those are just like standardized, like not really about a specific subject and everyone takes them so that didn't really play a part in getting into uni but we didn't have anything like a levels the closest thing is something called ap's which are like advanced placement courses so it does have a really big exam at the end of the year that's like a national thing but they're optional one takes them they just kind of at American unis mean you get to take higher levels of subjects like you start off at a higher level of maths than you would before so I took a lot of these AP classes and that's basically what they used as an equivalent to A levels so, so obviously I mean I think you don't actually need any prerequisites to do it but I think anything that's kind of essay based something maybe like English. maybe English but something more like history Fine. like something where you are writing very very analytically about true things that have happened right. so I think something like sociology stuff like that could be really useful probably kind of the lack of mental health support in Bristol I think that's it's kind of been notorious for having pretty poor mental health support so I'd say that's probably the worst part there is stuff there however like I think Bristol has the most amount of suicides as any university which is like it's not a good thing to be notorious for. And I think it's just the wait lists for all of the counselling and stuff is like weeks to months. So I think it's just there's so many people with like issues that they don't yeah. have enough space for everyone. They need to increase it a lot more, I think. Um, oh, it's really hilly. Yeah. Like, so like, like anywhere walking. you're walking, if you want to walk, like you are going up a very steep hill most of the time. It is a good workout, but like after a night out, finding housing is very expensive. Ah. The best thing is just the city itself. I love it so much. It's gorgeous. So many beautiful houses and the Clifton Suspension Bridge, which is gorgeous. And I also love the nightlife. It is so fun. It's one of the most social music filled places. Like we go out every night. It doesn't end till 4 a.m. I lived in a private flat with a couple girls. I was in student halls in my first year. I was in Wills Hall, which is in Stoke Bishop or the North Village of Bristol, which is kind of known as more of like the little community campus type area. All the halls kind of share the same space, whereas in other parts of the university, the halls are kind of just their own individual buildings, like in the city centre. I thought it was really good because I did get to meet a lot of people in other halls in the same area, and I was in a catered hall, so with it being catered, I met a lot of people that were outside of just like my flat, whereas I know in a lot of other halls, they didn't really socialise with anyone other than the people in their immediate flat. Well, for me, the biggest difference was being catered 
not being catered uh because I had to make all of my own meals so I got to be really creative with the food I was making also having to clean everything myself we used to get our like bathrooms cleaned by the university cleaners but in second year obviously I didn't have that and it was also good because I got a lot closer with the people that I chose to live with versus the people that were just randomly selected I mean, I'm going to say my one. I think Will's is. But a lot of people seem to love uh, Goldney. That seems to be everyone's favourite because it's just as gorgeous, I think. Oh. And it has really nice has really nice gardens. So everyone seems to like that one. Well, you've got to go to the Cory Tap, which is a pub. And they've got really, really strong cider. And everyone has to go there and try it and do the 10 before 10 challenge. Just 10 half pints of their really strong cider before 10 p.m. It's a Bristol student tradition. Must. Everyone does it on their birthdays and things like that. You have to do that. And while you're in Clifton, uh, seeing the Clifton Suspension Bridge is really just like, it's like the icon of Bristol. If you look up a picture of Bristol, you're most likely just going to see the bridge. So definitely go to that. What the, the nightlife is the best. There's so many different like types of places and clubs to go to. Like there's music venues. There's so many pubs and bars and so many different clubs ranging from like your prism and pop world to big giant drum and bass clubs like one called motion which is massive it's one of the best clubs in the country and but there's also just little pub or little clubs that just play throwbacks and fun dance music like you there's such a range and there's so many options like i feel like i've been to so many clubs and i still haven't been to most of them there's definitely lots of shops. I mean, it's a pretty big city. Like we've got a big shopping mall in the city center called Cabot Circus. And that's got like any sort of high street shop you could ever ask for, like a top shop and stuff like that. Everything basically. But then there's also on a road called Gloucester Road and all over the city is a lot of thrift shops, a lot of charity shops. So you can get lots of cool fashion things from those shops um lots of shoe shops like there's a really wide variety and there's basically every grocery store you could ever imagine <laughs> I do not have a job while I'm at Bristol but I am hoping to when I go back I mean there's tons and tons of like food shops and coffee shops and I know lots of people that work in the bars and the clubs at night uh so I know quite a few people that do have jobs like I have a friend who works at a school nearby is like a dinner lady there so I mean there's tons of options I'm probably thinking of working in a pub or a coffee shop or something like that there's lots of societies uh tons of sports ones lots and lots of charity ones there's like more charity ones than I can think of every subject basically has its own society there's lots and lots of law ones I've noticed there's like at least five separate law clubs um so yeah it's really really busy like at our freshers week we have three massive tents full to of the brim. societies so there's tons of societies yeah well I had visited England a lot because I have a ton of family there so it's like it wasn't like I had been away from it for 14 years like I go back like almost every year so I had kind of recognized it and like every year I went I was like oh my god I want to live here because I just like I love the food and I like the people a lot better and I just like the scenery of everything I just preferred it um but I think the main difference is obviously the weather is gonna play a big part like today it's like 30 degrees it's mm. like very warm mm. nice and then in England it's just like raining half the time that's the English but to weather. be honest I don't like hot weather so I kind of like being in England most of my clothes are like coats and jackets anyway mm. so I'm just like get me to the cold weather <laughs> um also like food on like a night out and stuff just nights out in general are really different like there's no like kebabs here like you don't get like a kebab like a donna and chips on a night out whereas here it's like I got my first like pitta wrap and I was just like oh my god this like takes me back to uni because you just like can't get them here unless you go to like a very specific like greek place we're back I think you'd have to prepare for obviously the way people talk there's a lot of slang uh, how, there's a lot of slang in England we, that you just, we, one of my friends says calm all the time like calm. like oh we should go to the pub tonight oh yeah calm so I think what, it's a London thing I, it means like cool yeah like what I would say was if someone's like hey we should go out tonight I'll be like oh yeah cool that sounds good but my friend would say oh calm I don't know what else 
just saying some things like pang people don't say pang or like just shagging <laughs> that's something people don't say like there's just lots of words that you just use for everyday things or like oh. or like even just things like saying taking the piss like that's not a thing in america you just say you're talking shit basically yeah like i knew a lot of it because i knew a few like my family and stuff yeah. like all of that my older sister has lived in england most of her life <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you're going to have to prepare for being an international student and people being like, oh, my God, you're from America. Oh, my God, you sound so American. So that's a pretty common occurrence. But I mean, I think the people are nice. You speak the same language if you're from America. Like, it's not. I think the main difference as well is just in the schooling itself, like in the way you learn. There's a lot more independent. There's a lot more like um, independent study in so what do you mean you have less classes like oh, in america okay. you're going to your lectures and stuff really often and you have a lot more like in class quizzes and you're graded on participation and stuff whereas here you're kind of not babied as much we can just you're like throw you in the deep end in england you're just kind of like okay here you go you have a whole year of classes and one exam at the end that's your entire grade good luck okay. um Whereas in America, it's like you have a quiz every week and you have all these homework assignments. It's kind mm. of more like school. It's not that scary because they do kind of guide you into university in the first few weeks. But like once you're kind of like settled in, it's like it's more like doing a job and having like big assignments and projects instead mm. of just like more school. But well, I never really in America, at least it's not a big thing to do apprenticeships or work immediately. Like I always wanted a university degree and... I always thought that was just the way I was going to go about. Both uni. my parents went to university. I thought it was what? just what I wanted to do. Also, just with jobs afterwards, like I want to, since I'm doing politics, I want to go into something political or do law afterwards, do a law conversion. So I kind of need a degree to do that. It depends what the apprenticeship is. What do you mean by that? Like, if I, if I got an apprenticeship to, like, work in Parliament, like, I would take that and not go to university because that's an indirect, like, that's just directly into the job field I want to go into. Hey. But, I mean, that's really unlikely because you most of the time need a bachelor's degree. degree. Yeah. Um, so I basically started it about a year and a half ago, but I had also been making videos since I was, like, 12 um just random videos but they're all deleted or privated now so you can't watch those but I started like my channel that I have now about a year and a half ago and I basically just did it because I wanted to tell people about my experience of going to Bristol and applying to UK unis as an American and it just kind of took off from there I watched YouTubers like Eve Cornwell and Eve Bennett and Ruby Granger and all these various UK university YouTubers and I was inspired and kind of wanted to do what they did and talk about university and give some advice because I know when I was going into university I looked up on YouTube like all the possible things I could about Bristol and about going to university so I wanted to make more of those videos and I've gotten lots of comments from people that are like I'm starting university in Bristol in September I'm super excited your videos are really helpful and it's like I like being able to help people with that. Pretty cool. Well I've been Olivia. Uh, you can follow me on my Instagram, which is just at Olivia Morris, and my YouTube if you just search Olivia Morris or search Livisome, L-I-V-I-S-O-M-E-1-2-3. That's my official YouTube handle. It was made when I was 12. Ignore that. And be sure to follow my Twitter as well, which is at Olivia Morris Zero, and my TikTok, which is Olivia Charlotte Zero. And yeah, it's been really good talking to you and hopefully any Americans out there that go to university in England or are thinking of going to university in England can check out my channel or anyone that goes to the University of Bristol because I would love to make some new friends and connect with some more people that are doing the same thing I'm doing.